Hi, it's Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. In this video, I'm going to show you my team for game week four as it stands at the moment, assuming there's no news to change my mind about different things. As you can see in game week three, I went for a 5-3-2 and it was a bad week for an awful lot of managers. Edison in goal got one. In defence, there was Trent with zero, James one, Robertson one, Cancelo zero, Perisic 12. That was a good save, Perisic. So before game week three, the benching dilemma was between Perisic and Tony. Tony and Perisic were the only two that I had to choose between because all the rest were dead certs for me. And everyone that I saw who said anything about it, and certainly the websites that say who they think you should do, who's going to score better, were saying Tony, but I really wanted to play Perisic. And as you'll see, that was the right thing to do. Martinelli, six. Diaz, two. Saka, three. Haaland, 12, because he was my captain. And then Jesus for four. And on the bench was Ward for one, Tony eight, De Silva one, Lavia one. So though Tony would have been the second highest scoring player if I'd got him, the one I was debating him about was between him and Perisic. So from that point of view, I made the right decision. But obviously I should have played Tony instead of anyone else. It would have been better. This is my squad of 15 players. And the problem I'm having is deciding which ones to put on the bench. Now the keeper's easy between Edison and Ward. Obviously, I'm going to play Edison and put Ward on the bench. Of my 13 outfield players, the two that are least likely to get good scores are De Silva and Alavia. They should both play, but only get two or three points, probably. So they're on my bench. Whatever formation gets played apart from that, you're always going to get three defenders, two midfielders and one striker, plus whatever else you're doing. So first... Which three defenders am I going to play? Well, I'm definitely going to want to play James, Trent and Cancelo. Because at any game, they could get a clean sheet. They could get a return. Chelsea are at home to Leicester. Liverpool are at home to Bournemouth. And Man City are at home to Palace. So obviously, I'm going to want to play those. In the midfield, the most likely to do well are Luis Diaz and Saka. Even though Saka's not had a good start. At home to Fulham, I'm giving him a bit longer. So Diaz and Saka have to play for me. Up front, I've got Haaland. And at the moment, I'm intending to make him my captain every week, even if he's got a tough game. But he hasn't. He's home to Palace. So they're my must-have players. Every team's got those 3-2-1 in their formations. Now, apart from that, I now have five players left to choose from. Robertson at home to Bournemouth. Perisic away to Forest, Martinelli, Jesus home to Fulham and then Tony and he's at home to Fulham. So any of those, if any of those got a return, got a good score, even if they got double points, it would not be a surprise to anyone. Any of the players I put out in the top 15, apart from perhaps Edison, if they get a double digit score, it wouldn't be surprising. And yet, of course, some of them are probably going to get twos, maybe even ones. What I've decided, I'm definitely going to play Robertson, Martinelli and Jesus. So now I'm down to between Tony and Perisic. Now, it was my intention always to play Perisic every week. Even if he comes on for the last 10 minutes, he could still get a return. However, Everton are clearly having issues trying to keep the ball out their own net. And if Brentford get a goal, then there's a good chance Tony's going to be involved. So currently, at this moment in time... I'm benching Perisic and playing Tony, but I don't like doing that. And I may change it yet. So my squad, my starting 11 as it stands is as you see on the screen here. Edison and then Trent, James, Robertson, Cancelo in the middle. Martinelli, Diaz, Saka up front, Tony, Harlan, Jesus. With Ward, Perisic, De Silva and Lavia on the bench. But it is, it is difficult for me. The advantages of Tony is he is expected to score more points than Perisic and he's owned by a lot more people than Perisic is or considerably more people. So if I choose Perisic but Tony does better, I'm going to fall further behind. If I choose Tony and Perisic does better, that won't be as bad for me. Now we may have some news 
which affects my decision before the deadline and I may just decide to swap it. The reason I got Tony was I want to have Darwin. He got sent off. He's going to miss three weeks. So I moved his cash to Tony because I knew it looked like Tony was going to go up in value. So at least I might make 0.1 million before I bring him back. It's just that Tony's also been getting points. So I've still not decided for sure. But as things stand, Parasic or Tony will be on my bench. Let me know in the comments which one of those two you'd bench or if one of the other ones you'd bench. I suspect you'd all play Tony over Parasic, but I could be wrong. It'd be very interesting to find out. Feel free to give me as much help as you want to. I know I don't have Salah. I don't want to have Salah. As you can see, by not having Salah, you can have a 12 very good players. And I think that's what I've got, even though I'm only in the... I'm just inside the top 40%, which isn't great, but we've only had three weeks. Please do like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd do. Thanks for watching. Bye.